Hi Bampton fans and welcome to test number 710. This is the Gusen Gungnir R07R Alpha Spec. So who are we and what do we do? We test Bampton equipment like strings, shuttlecocks, shoes and of course lots of rackets. Over 750 in actual fact. Rackets tested on our site in the, and in great detail. Detail like you've never seen before. If you go to our website and go onto the year zone, you can sign in and see all this information for free. You can also advertise your club for free, and you can also advertise any forthcoming tournaments for free. We do ask of you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, subscribe to our website, press the like button, and if you can afford it, please do donate whatever you can so we can keep our work going forward. Thank you. We sell this racket in the UK for £95, we, we ship worldwide, it's a very, very competitive price for a racket of this standing. It is also available in Asia too, so distribution and availability is fairly easy. In terms of specs, manufacturer specs, for you in weight, the balance of the racket, slightly head light, and the shaft is stiff. The goosens are all supplied with G5 size grips, and the maximum string tension on this £28. This racket is produced in Taiwan. E-Zone specs on this racket, 87.2 grams weight, head heavy, just very slightly 304 mil, just slightly towards the head, and it does have a stiff shaft. In terms of design, these rackets are produced beautifully. The Gunganir 07R, 08S, 05A, they're the ones we have in stock. And I've got to say, Finishing quality of a Goosen is it's just, you know, it doesn't get much better than that. It's not as exciting, perhaps, as a Kawasaki. They, they are they're the masters of design. Uh, and, and also, I, we personally really do like Victor's designs and finishing. But in terms of actual quality of finish, it can't be beaten. Absolutely beautifully finished. Uh, nice colours. All of the work on here, the paintwork is really, really accurate. And some amazing detailed work around this head. You know, that's not easy to produce, not to this degree of accuracy, just very, very impressive. Take a look at these pictures and make a judgment for yourself. like to use well it's really light it feels really super light to use you know lightweight fans people who don't want super lightweight like the featherweight xs or the company 9u they want something a little bit heavier this is perfect the, the, this is ideal for the 4u fan because it really does have that weight feel to it it's not heavy you know it feels quick it, uh, you know it just feels full of energy it doesn't feel particularly stiff to use it feels it, medium to flexible in terms of the uh, the shaft stiffness when you're actually using the racket it doesn't feel and that's probably something to do with the airspeed it can build up which is very very fast it's got very decent airspeed making you feel like you're getting to the shuttle very early making you feel like you've got enough time to get enough swing behind because you can build generate that speed and get good impact on the shuttlecock so it's strengths in that case it is very good in, in a dry scenario excellent drivability really getting behind the shuttle driving you know, the shuttle back keeping the shuttle accurate keeping it tight keeping it going at the pace you want superb uh, overhead shots with this came really really easily we found the overhead shots with this particular Gunganir easier than we do with the 08s it's nice for overhead shots you don't feel like you're putting in a lot of effort it, you know they go quite smoothly they're nice when you're off center too just generally very very nice the ease of use overall pick it pick it up and play it's a pick up and play kind of racket a lot of the time when we sell rackets we advise people on rackets we have to send an advisory note to say try the racket out for three four sessions don't make a judgment on your first session because it's probably you're going to feel like, oh it's not really working you've got to give it time you've got to settle in with the racket settle into the timing understand the sweet spot of the racket um, this is a pick and play you know the sweet spot is fairly large it's light it's easy you can just go with it in terms of improvement i think the control could be slightly better and uh, the smash power could be slightly better and defensively we would expect it to be quicker and more able 
given it's so fast and so light. Where does that leave us, however? This scored very, very high in the E-Zone testing. So it's going to be a thumbs up for singles players. It's going to be a thumbs up for doubles players. It's going to be a thumbs up for all category of players. Beginners, intermediate and advanced people can use this racket. The only player that would not do well with this racket is if you're an outright attack kind of player, you may want something that's gonna give you a slightly more head heavy balance and a bigger smash. Outside of that, if you like the, if you like the drive rallies, if you like to stay in the rally, you have to be able to reach the shuttle easily and want a racket that's not going to exhaust your shoulder, exhaust your elbow, then this racket is actually really, really good. It's definitely a thumbs up. We would recommend it. How does it compare to the rest of the uh, Gunganir range? Well, actually, really, really well. Just taking a look in here, they're all quite similar in fairness, the 08S, the 05A, but the 07R is particularly special and definitely for that reason gives it a thumbs up. And 95 pounds, if you're wondering how does it compare to the King K9 for you, the Honor S6 or the Black Panther, which would be the primary competition under 100 pounds. Uh, even the Felit rackets, uh, the Felit woven range that we've recently tested, which are amazing, they're very, very professional. Well, compared to the Felits, this is just light, much quicker than any of the fellets. They are much more stable, much more, they're very accurate feeling rackets. This feels just lighter and airy and quicker in every way than all of those. How does it compare to the King K9 for you? The same, it's quicker than that. It doesn't feel as head heavy as that. It doesn't feel, like the, the King K9 has the potential for a big smash, but it doesn't have the airspeed necessarily that you need to be able to generate. So you've got to put in the extra effort to generate that big smash. This is a lot easier work than that. Um, and it's not overly flexible. It's a, you know, it, it's a nice balance, this racket. How does it compare to the Black Panther? Well, it's a totally different ball game. The Black Panther is a beast for you or through their beast rackets, but they're slightly harder core. When I mean that, they are slightly stiffer. They're, you know, they're, you are gonna feel they're more stable. This is as quick, I'd say, as the 4U Black Panther, but that Black Panther just has that lethal combination where it is good in everything it does. And this is more about speed, it's more about those drive rallies, it's more about getting into yourself into a position where you're able to do the deception, deceptive shots because it's got that speed and that air speed to be able to pull off all of that sort of movement and that's the kind of player who will be looking to buy a racket like this. It's a player with strategy, a player not relying on just pure raw smash power. And at 95 pounds, like I said already, these things are built amazingly they use you know they're using the best material is designed really well you're getting a high high class product okay if you want to see the smash shot the maneuver shot go to the e-zone it's free of charge if you want to see all the specs go to the e-zone it's free of charge advertise your club free of charge on the e-zone advertise any forthcoming tournaments free of charge on the e-zone um, outside of that we appreciate your support we appreciate all the love and we appreciate all the sharing of videos. Thank you very much and we'll see you on the next one.